Hi, and welcome back to our Learn DQL by Use Case series. If you're new here, my name is Sinisha, and I'm a developer advocate at Dynatrace. As a business analyst, I need to understand how trading activity is distributed across a week. With Dynatrace DQL, I can get that answer by using the DQL capabilities Business Events, Summarize, Format Timestamp, and Get Day of Week. I've prepared this notebook with step-by-step -step instructions on how to craft a DQL query to group trading transactions by weekday. You can apply the same step-by-step -step guide to any data with available timestamp information. In this example, we are using transactions from our EasyTrade application that are stored as business events. For every transaction, I'm adding two new fields. The first field I will add is day txt, that is the textual representation of the weekday. Its value is assigned by using the format timestamp function. With the format parameter, I set the preferred date format, in this case, the string representation of the weekday. The second field I will add is dayNum, the numeric representation of the weekday. Its field value is calculated by using the getDayOfWeek function. We will need that field for sorting later. Now, for each transaction, we have the fields necessary to continue. In the next step, I summarize the number of trades by weekday and display the result as a bar chart. As you see on the screen, the order of weekdays seems to be random. To prevent random sorting, I introduced the numeric field dayNum in the previous step. Finally, we can sort the data by dayNum. Now we can see that there is an increase for training activity during weekends. For more details, click on the notebook link in the description below. And stay tuned for more Learn DQL by Use Case videos.